Is that a... Is that an elephant? It's funny. It's a funny animal. It's a big, big animal. I hear Game Freak is making an elephant game that's not on Nintendo consoles. Which is very strange. Whoa, look at those. Look at that. Just immediately... That is nice looking. I don't even remember where the fuck I was in this game, but that is a nice looking view. You cannot fault this game for being extr- What is that noise? You guys hear that? This isn't a new GPU. But, uh, it's slightly older GPU. Well, not, not even. I've had this GPU for, I guess, a few months now. A little over a few months. Are you, you guys making that noise? My voice is almost better. Hi. I'm happy that it's back. I'm starting a bit late tonight, but I'll give you guys a little extra time. Tonight we're just gonna stick with some Far Cry. I know some people totally aren't totally into the Far Cry streams, but I think it's fun because we get to go on adventures and there have been a lot of memorable moments. Like there was a wolf dry heaving. I have a mission for you guys. Find the three Far Cry moments that I'm thinking of in the videos, if you can. And I will combine them into one video about animals being fun and crazy and making no sense. All right. The first one is the elephant that disappeared. Okay. You remember the elephant that disappeared? All right. There's the bear throwing up. There's the elephant that disappeared. And there was the wolf dry heaving. And I think there was one with a pig too. So if you guys give me some time codes... And again, I'm just being lazy asking you to do the work for me. But if you guys get me some time codes. Shit. Whoa, whoa! You motherfucker! I was talking! I was talking! <sighs> if you guys get me some time codes of Animals Gone Wild in Far Cry 4, I will make a little video compilation. Just uh, email me the time codes on the videos and blah blah blah, and uh, yeah, I'll give you credit in the uh, in the YouTube thumbnail. I'm just too lazy to go through it, but there were so many good moments, and and I don't know, I don't really feel like making a whole big video for Far Cry, but there were a few moments in this game that I really enjoyed. Um, and again, if not, that's no problem. It's not a big deal. It's just just for a bit of fun. Uh, do we want to do Sabal? Yeah, let's do a campaign mission for Sabal. Yeah, I'll give you credit in the thumbnail, don't worry. Thank you for watching the Tamadachi streams, guys. So, something really cool happened yesterday. Whoa! Whoa! Will I be the only vine sauce guy at too many games? Um, there's a chance. There's a very good chance KY will be going. This guy's sniper. Oh, shit. Gotcha. How did that truck? How did that truck materialize like that? Goodbye, my friend. Are there more people? Jesus, what is going on today? All this crying from, from afar.
Yeah, so um, I think I will be there with KY. I'm not entirely sure if KY is going. I'm going to find out as time goes on. Um, there, there should be some viewers from the stream. But in terms of streamers, I'm not entirely sure yet. I know it's definitely me, like 85% KY, and uh, I'll ask around if anyone else is interested in going. So that that's for too many games. If, if you Google it, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's like a little convention in Philly. It's not going to be a big one, but it'll be fun, and it'll give you guys a chance to actually hang out with some people that you like, as opposed to being clusterfucked by long lines in a big crowd. Um, there should be vendors and all the typical stuff. So, what else? Shit, I'm out of ammo. Did I see Muse's new album got a release date and cover art? Did we get a single? Whoa! See, now, now that's how you know I'm not back to 100% vocal integrity. Did we get a single? <laughs> um, I didn't see it. Maybe uh, I'll go look at it real quick. After this... Oh, sweet Jesus. Wait a second. Did we get a tanger? Bender, honey, we love you. Shut up, baby. I know it. Oh yeah. Um, that Tame Impala song, by the way, was not a single. I did see Nate, uh, Alan Tudyk and Nathan Fillion's Indiegogo. Hang on, Muse. Muse announced new album Drones. Okay, so Drones is the name of their new album. I didn't think it would be. I thought it would just be a song. Um. I have this strong feeling that this next album should be something that really does strip away the additional things we've been ex experimenting with. Good. So you got a song called Drill Sergeant JFK Reapers, The Aftermath, The Globalist. It sounds like a Muse album. It sounds like a Muse album. Uh, let me see if there's a picture here of the cover. Let me see. You guys can Google it yourself. I'm not I'm just very curious. I'm a, I'm a Muse fan, I guess you could say. I saw them live, which was slightly disappointing. Hmm. Well, I'm not seeing a cover, but don't worry about it. It's fine. All right. I'm ready for the new Radiohead album. Like, I hear there's supposedly a Radiohead album in the works. I've been waiting for that for quite a while. Let's just uh, remove a bullet with a stick. It's good. So what happened last night that was cool? I went to Man vs. Game stream. Um, I never really watch other streamers because I'm kind of busy doing that myself. But uh, I met Man vs. Game at, at uh, PAX and he just seemed like a really good dude. He was very generous with his time. Very excited to meet us, and he he seems. So ball. How'd that happen? Past the bridge. North of you is Utkash, Bagan's model village for life under his thumb. But it's all propaganda. That boy teleported. There. Nobody knows the north better than that cell. I need you to check in on them. I swear that boy just teleported. Um. So anyway, I went over to. Man vs. Game stream, and I watched him stream Hotline Miami for a bit, and he started singing Psycho Killer. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Kind of like I do, like out of nowhere for no reason, he just started singing Psycho Killer. And I was like, okay, that's uh, this guy's this guy's good. I like this. And he was wearing a pink Floyd the Wall shirt. Um, and he just seemed like, like he was a good, he seemed like a good streamer. So anyway, I tweeted at him and I said, nice Pink Floyd shirt, dude, The Wall's one of my favorite albums. And, uh, he actually mentioned it on stream. 
and I felt I felt like a fanboy for a few minutes. I kind of felt like how you guys feel sometimes. Run, 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 run away. Oh, 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 psycho killer. Kiss, kiss, say. Got. What you do here, got? What you do here? Got. Someone just said, Vinny, can you pause the stream? I need to go pee. Could you imagine if I, I paused the stream for every piss break? Like, that was my gimmick as a streamer. Fucking die. Jesus. Dead yet, Jim? Oh, Donna. Hi, Donna. I know you're my number one fan. I, I appreciate that. I'm your number one fan, believe it or not. And my voice is back, so I can I can say that with some degree of confidence. Propaganda poster here. Is this guy still yelling? Um, you want to know how Pax was from? Uh, Pax was good. I, I talked about it yesterday on stream for an extended period of time. You probably find that on the Full Sauce channel. It's a cave down here. I don't know if I want to go down there just yet. How does Vinny just hold it in when he streams? Um, well, I don't. I I, <laughs> I pee before a stream and sometimes during a break. You know those five-minute breaks, BRB. That's a u that's usually a good time to get something to drink and to uh, take a piss. So I wonder if they're dead yet. Adult adult diapers. Blood on the linoleum. The new uh, walk-in film. Blood on the linoleum. I, uh... Wear adult diapers. Just whatever's in front of me is going to get shot. That, that's my, um... That's my credo for today's stream. If it's in front of me, it gets shot. I like the guy that said Vinny has enough money to have someone pee for him. Not not that the, you know, the fact that I have someone pee for me, but it's more the fact that I have money. You're a silly, silly bunt. I do have money, though, because I'll tell you, I'll tell you how you know I have money. You ready? I bought the expensive chocolate chip cookies today. They were in the gluten-free aisle. And I know that sounds, for some people, a little gross, but I've had these cookies before, and they're fucking delicious. Just chocolate chip, man. Alright, I'll tell you what they're called. Hang on. I, I don't think I took them out of the bag, because I got a little bit lazy when I got home, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. Hang on a second now. I'll be right with y'all.
They're just called Nature's Promise. It's a stop and shop brand, and uh, they are some of the best cookies I've ever had. And they're slightly more expensive than the other ones. For for box cookies, that's that's what I go for, and that's how you know I'm a very rich man. How did you do it? How did you escape the prison? Did you climb out by tooth and nail? Uh, sadly, Carlo, I saw your chef Boyardee. They're waiting for you downstairs. Tweet. A little upset about that. Anyway, we've got story. I shouldn't be talking about cookies and chef Boyardee. My friend Mike is doing well. He's been streaming on his own channel. You can check him out. It's uh, M6000W. That's not annoying. Look at you. A lovely couple to match a lovely home. Very salt of the How does he not notice this? You know, does I he not have peripheral vision? If I ever wanted to experience the hospitality of Utkash, then I had to visit the Ramas. Oh, we questioned everyone too. And everyone said the exact same thing. They are the friendliest. They will talk to anyone. To anyone, I say. To everyone, they say. Hmm. Well, they were so emphatic that I decided I had to see it for myself. He's cute. You see, I uh, wanted to warn you. Warn us, sir? Yes. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard, but it's come to my attention that there are some very disreputable people around. And I'm concerned that these people, these terrorists, well, they might take advantage of your hospitality. And ruin your wonderful reputation. And we wouldn't want that to happen, now, would we? No, sir. Would you allow me to protect you? To ensure your reputation? Please, yes, Kingpin. Your wish is my command. <laughs> I'm so glad we could agree on this. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Uh, this should only take a moment. And they say I've lost touch with my son. Nope. No way he saw that. No! They'll kill you! I'm getting paid. You should've did it when you had a chance, AJ. What the hell, man? Also, what's that gun you had? I want that one. I'm Simone, running out of ammo. I found Pagan. I'm chasing him down. What? Are you sure? I'm positive. You can do this, brother. Whoops. Oh, that's... I need this. Uh, whoops. Um, okay, problem. I don't have ammo. For my secondary weapon, so I cannot shoot Pagan Min. So this is going to be very, very difficult. Throw grenades. There's one. Come on, Pagan. Come on, Peggy. Peggy Min. 
Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue. Hell yeah. Peggy Men's dead. Wait, wait, really? It's a bit anticlimactic. Not only is he dead, but his gun has entered his neck. Is that Fred Armisen? That's not the Hello, real Pagan. That's a decoy. Oh, yes, you did. Pagan? I just killed you. <laughs> no, no, you just ruined a perfectly good body double with hair loss. Do you know how expensive he was to make? He wasn't even Asian, for Christ's sake. He was from Melbourne, I think. His only crime was being born with fabulous cheekbones. Whose picture do you think's on the money? No matter what <laughs> done is done, I suppose next time it'll just be you. <laughs> um, I don't know why that's so funny to me, but I love it. He stabbed himself with his own rifle, but fr from the wrong end. Like, come on, really? Butt of his own joke. I need ammo. Let's go to this bell tower. Let's go to this bell end. Ah, RJ, you missed my clone. He was a perfect replica. Except for the gun in his neck. Wait, it says propaganda destroy. Oh, there it is. It was burning. And this makes these towers so much easier, doesn't it? Oh wow, I didn't know I could... I didn't know I could do that. Alright then. Vision Bell. Deckard was a replicant, says Anal Tremors. What? No! Don't no bird. No birds after cutscenes. I would say Harrison Ford thinks Deckard was a human. But Ridley Scott thinks Deckard's a replicant. And the clues are there. But there are many that argue proof that Deckard is actually a human. So it's it's still one of those not quite solved movie mysteries. Blade Runner. That's what I'm talking about. But I'll tell you what. I would say there's like 75% yes that he's a replicant. So it's it's pretty damn close and it's it's pretty pretty damn hard to say. Grezzo 2? Oh god. Grezzo 2 is, is up. Yeah, guys, Vappy uploaded a stream of a game called Grezzo 2. And, uh, well, it's it's pretty fucked up. It was an old stream I did. You will get offended if you get offended easily. Which is exactly why it's been uploaded. Enjoy! I streamed Grezzo 2 in 2013. All right, GTA heists are available. I will do those when the PC version comes out. I'm excited to give it a shot and see if they were worth the wait. Uh, do I want to go to Herc? Well, let's go to another bell tower real quick. What the fuck is a vampy vamp?
Oh, hang on a second, guys. I've been meaning to do this, but I forgot. I got a package today from someone from the stream. I got a few packages. One with a Star Trek quote cross-stitched that was absolutely brilliant. I'll show you that at a later date. But tonight, I got, um... Well, I got a toad. I'm looking now for the first time. I got a toad. And the toad is... an old toad. Something very strange about this toad. I don't know what. Um, it looks like it's been used. Uh, guys, I think I got a used toad. I don't know if I like this. Alright, look, look at his... He's got, like, battle damage. So, there's that. Um, I got a DVD case. I have not actually looked at the items in this yet. Um, I just opened it. So, let's see what's in here. One dollar. I'm not kidding, by the way. One dollar. <laughs> and Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. All right, Larry Boy and the Bad Apple plus a dollar. Um, it's from Gamasaur, who I think is banned from chat, actually. So, well done, Gamasaur. You, you, you sent me stuff, and then you got yourself banned twice somehow. Well done. Um, okay, we've got this. It's a little vine shroom thing, and it says here from... From Gamasaur, right? I don't know. It's just a... Yeah. There you go. Um... He, he drew... Some of the Vine Sauce crew here. This is my favorite one. I think he got banned for spamming, actually. And then he got banned again for ban evasion. Gamasaur, you, you gotta really work on that stuff, huh? If you're if you're watching. This is very bad. Um, I got a Lego man. There's, well, I'll just show you. This is one of the most bizarre combinations of things I got in a package ever. I got three Super Balls. Probably with loads of dead skin on them. And uh, I got a BRB in real life. Here, I'll show you. Okay, so... Alright, I got this. It's um, Vinny Will BRB. I don't know if you could see it. And it says, Vinny, if you can, please put this picture onto an invisible or black background. Thanks, Gamasaur. What? And there's the Lego guy. And there's the single shekel. And uh, there's the there's the power balls. What the fuck is this? Thanks, Gamasaur. Um, I really appreciate it. A very odd combination of things. And uh, maybe I'll give this shitty game a shot. And thanks for the shekel. Uh, I don't know if I can use that BRB, however. It's a little too good for the stream. So. There you go. Thought you guys might enjoy that. I did. Packages are always, always nice. Always welcome. Um, even the really weird ones like that. I'm just gonna, you know, lock my doors little bit extra like I'm gonna buy like a combination lock for my doors and somehow the the fucking the disc gives me my PlayStation 2 a virus
Gorn. Ah, my name is Gornak. Hi. My name. My name is Gornak. Oof, free! I get a weapon. Um, I don't know if it's a good weapon, but we'll find out, I guess. Okay, I see we've got one of these. Did you have to kill the guy? What did he do to you? This guy was just trying to fucking live his life and... Sell some meth or something. I don't know. Whoa! Yes, I got a P.O. box. Don't worry. Uh, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not just gonna give my address to people. P.O. box seems to work well. Except people tend to send me things that do not fit in the P.O. box. So each and every time I go to my P.O. box, there's usually a package that does not fit. And I have to speak to someone about it. And I'm worried they're going to find me at some point. But for the moment, it's, it's just whatever, I guess. Wait, do we want to go to Herc? Undertake a mission for Herc. Wasn't Herc a dick to us last time? Let's go see Herc. I want to see what happened with this guy. Right now! Um, I have some interesting streams for you guys. This weekend I have something very very cool I'm not gonna spoil it but be here on Sunday and then I might have another interesting stream or at least for a little while on one of the days before that I have a lot of really 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 weird stuff and uh, I, I have to say I'm really excited I do have um, some corruptions, actually. I'll tell you one thing I've got lined up. I've got corruptions of an N64 game submitted by Frustrator. And that's going to be fun. So, that's just one thing that I have planned. Um, I haven't really been... Str I obviously, I've been at PAX, so I haven't gotten a chance to stream that much. So, I feel like it might be time for one of those big streams of stuff that I know you guys want to see. Most of the week, I just kind of do whatever the fuck I feel like. But every now and then I figure I, I do one for the... one for the crowd. Six for me, one for you. Six for me, one for you. Uh, how's Monster Hunter going? I just got a sword and shield. It was a rusted sword and shield that I upgraded, and it's pretty good, except that it's really... Like, I have to sharpen it constantly, but it's got like 480 dragon attack. Oh, Herc is the good... Herc is a good... Okay, guy. That sounds like the plot for... Dude, be like my Keanu, man. You can fly, right? I know where there's this boss mini chopper. Get to the chopper. <laughs> oh my god, Herc, please. So I'm in a chopper, though. Do I have to, I have to get to another one? Alright. 
That's what Herc wants. And that's what Herky Herky gets. Herc McGurk. Let's let's find some ammo before I do anything. Um I'm not sure when I'm gonna do my Final Fantasy VII stream yet. Let's just wrap up the stuff I have now. You know, Majora and this. Um, and then I'm going to take a, a look at anything that might be on my to-do list. I can't tell if that's a plant or a guard. Oh, there's a, there's a guy. Never mind. Monster Hunter is going well, though. I definitely... I still need high rank armor. That's something I, I still don't have any good ideas for a high rank armor. Um, Keegan at Square Push gave me one. But it didn't really seem 100% right for me. So... I still don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about my armor in Far Cry. Uh, in uh, Monster Hunter. Otherwise, the game is going well. My Dios Axe Plus is beast. This fucking weapon shreds enemies. I, I can do any of the, the village quests in like five minutes because of this weapon. I know, the Master Sword and the Hylian Shield and Link's Tunic in Monster Hunter 4. I'm really excited about that. Um, Fantasy Life is not happening right now. The problem with Fantasy Life is I can't play it on any DS other than my streaming DS. So I couldn't even bring it with me unless I brought my streaming DS, which I didn't want to. I might resume Fantasy Life. But at the moment, Monster Hunter is taking up my uh, free video game time, and I love it. I love every minute of it. I think Monster Hunter is probably my favorite multiplayer game at the moment. Maybe ever for the past few moments. Oh, you got your retro tee. Oh, oh, I wanted to make an announcement. Retro tees are not coming back. Those t-shirts are... You, if you have one, you will never see another one um, printed. I mean, if someone copies the design, maybe, but Teespring cannot... No. Oh, thank God. Teespring cannot reprint those designs. So if you got a retro tee, you, you consider yourself lucky. Seriously. Uh, they're gone. I'm sorry to say that, guys. Um, it wasn't up to me. They were too afraid of copyright repercussions. And um, this is probably the only time this will happen. So if you have one, consider yourself really, really lucky. It's rare now. Um, I hate even saying that. But the good news is, one of the previous designs is going to be coming back. At some point... One of the designs that I said would be completely gone for like an anniversary, like maybe the jar or another one, will be back. Can this fuck. God, oh my god! Yeah, it is their design, but they, they got. They had too many bullshit moments with it, so it's. it's yeah, I don't really know how to explain it, but. Uh. Um, but yeah, there, there definitely will be, there's another design that's kind of similar-ish. They're looting these guys? Um, and then there's actually a potential of a gold design. They have, a, the ability to make gold shirts now. So there might be one of those in the future. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work out. Hey, 
In fact, I'll tell you what. In a few minutes, I will, after this mission, rather, I will show you the three golden designs. I'll let you guys vote on which one you would like. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if anyone's going to like it. Um, and I know it's a little too soon to even put something up, but they were like, listen, we got this limited time shit. And I, and I was like, mm, maybe. The good news is you don't have to buy it if you don't want it. So there's at least that. But I'll show you the designs. You tell me if you guys like it. Um, but yeah, the retro T is apparently completely done. And I remembered the other album. I talked about my albums I listened to on the way home on the bus from Boston. It was The Wall. It was, um... Oh, I already forgot the other ones. I, I mentioned them yesterday, but there was... The one that I had forgotten was Turn Blue by the, by the Black Keys. I need better weapons really bad. Ah, oh, glow in the dark? They don't do that yet. I think one day they might. But uh, it, at the moment they have this gold foil limited edition nonsense. And it, it's... I'm torn on whether it's too... Allow me to use the word tacky. Or if it's actually cool. But uh, I don't know. I need maybe a second, third, four hundredth opinion. You guys seem to be good for that kind of stuff. Yeah. What? No! Don't give me- Don't take my gun away from me at the last- Give it a shot, I guess. With my shitty no weapons. Perform a takedown from the buzzer on the driver. Like, what even? What you what do you mean? Man? Hold the button while near the window. Okay. Here I am thinking I have to like fall through the roof of the vehicle with my knife out. Very good mission. Alright, well, apparently that worked. What the 
hell even is this mission? So that whole takedown thing was just abandoned. I'm gonna run out of ammo for this mission. Um, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad! I see a little silhouette of a man. Someone said land on the truck. Press the takedown button on the side of the driver. I did. Didn't work. This, this sucks. Takedown button. Alright, alright. We'll try it again. Let me get the vehicle takedown thing. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Um, skills. Let's see. Vehicle takedown. Nope. Can't get it. Never mind. Imagine this mission can only be completed if you have that exact perk, and I can't even unlock it. There was an X-Files episode with Brian Cranston that did a, a very similar thing to Speed. Oh, you know, just dying. Don't worry about me. Vinny, it's almost required. Oh, these fucking things are in my hand. Jesus, this game. Let's go. have to maintain a minimum speed. I don't know how- how did that guy die? Did, did the helicopter blades kill that guy? I don't think I should have gone up here. I think I made a mistake!
Doing well in Far Cry, the stream. This is how you play Far Cry, my friends. Exactly like, like this. to Vinny's whimsical ride on the truck of death and destruction and despair where we will find magical things together this is fire this is fire in the road this is just randomly fire okay elephant what is this mission I think I did it. I just have to meet Herc. This is the sound a vagina makes when it's all like, you know, it's, it's like there. It's like. Now you know. It's a whimsical creature. People are confirming that this is indeed the exact sound. Deuterino. I found the third statue, man. That monkey god, he has got to forgive us now. You just got to forgive us, monkey god. Us? Yeah, us, man. Tap rows are one for all. Why do you keep calling me that? Because we lick bank. I don't have any tattoos. Bonded by blood, man. I got tattoos for me and Jason, for me and Jack. And I'm saving my back for me and AJ, man. Triple J, triple threat. Boo yeah! My name starts with an A. Details, man. Details, details. All right, hey, I declare you the best tat bro the tat bro could have. I don't really like this guy very much. I don't think I'd be friends with him. Maybe some whiskey. I'm gonna need it. Thank you. Maybe a bit of whiskey. And I would like the guy a little bit more. By the way, I figured out the number one guy I want to have whiskey with. Josh Homme from Queens of the Stone Age. There's an episode of No Reservations where him and Anthony Bourdain are eating in the desert, drinking whiskey, and just fucking hanging out. And Josh makes some music. That is the dude I'd like to drink some whiskey with. Truck is invincible. Oh, never mind. Hey, 
He just seems like such a cool dude to hang out with. I really, I really, really would love to hang out. I have a jam session somewhere in the desert. Just, you know, hot summer night, stars in the sky. Do some shots of Jim Bean. Play some, some desert music, the song of my people. And uh, the sounds of the vaginas would echo through the night. Get that fucking giant. What is this fish? Look how big it is. It's a massive fish. I feel like I just caught a plussy off. As promised, I'd like to now show you guys, not this, but I'd like to show you guys these shirts. So I got an email from the Teespring guys, it's a little soon after the previous one, and um, I would like to show you guys this uh, gold nonsense. I don't know if you guys would like it. I'm not even sure I like it. Okay, so gold foil print. This isn't what ours looks like. But um, that's an example of one. And uh, here's the promo picture. So that's kind of what it looks like when it's on someone. And that's gold metallic edition. That's that's what they are, they're calling it. So he sent me some designs based on some previous designs. And uh, here's what we got. I'm not sure. Again, I'm not entirely sure. He likes the, the last one. All right, so this is the first one, right? Second one third one that's the one he likes best he said that this one is pretty good the, the the guy who does the shirt stuff um now the thing is i'm not really 100 percent sure i would wear one of these i know there are people that would but i guess i kind of need your opinion on this maybe you guys can kind of point me in the right direction and uh, is it worth even bothering with this? I'm going to make a few polls and you let me know because I, listen, it's not about the money this time because we just had a very successful campaign and really I don't care if you guys buy these or not. It's, it's for you more than anything. I just know that I was offered this gold foil stuff and I figured, well, maybe we'll give it a shot. So I'm going to make some straw poles. And you let me know. Is gold foil cool? Would you buy one? Yes. No. That's the first poll. And I will paste it.
There you go. Shit. Got to have it exactly even, right? I don't, don't want that. Here, let's just do that. Let's leave the space on the right there. Um, how much? It was 25 for this dude's. I don't know how much. I mean, I would I would try not to charge 25 if if I could go a little bit lower, I would do like 23 or 22, but I don't I don't know how much more these cost to print. I just know that the example that they gave us was um 24.99. So, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah. So, so far there's like a maybe a 58% to 42%. 58% being yes, 42 being no, which is actually kind of surprising. That's that's actually a lot more yeses than I thought there would be. Um again, tacky I think is kind of one of the words I would use here. I'll post it one more time. Uh, and then I'll also make another one real quick. We'll do this real quick and then we'll get straight back to the game. Which is best design? Um, gold V, number one, gold V, number two, mushroom vines, number three, vine shroom. Okay, so go for it. Well, already 200 votes and 53% like the vine shroom design the best. It's, uh, I mean, I get it. Makes sense. I like it too. It's just a matter of, you know, I'm not really sure what I can do with this. He said I should do it soon, which I, I would take as meaning that this is not going to last forever but I'm going to email him back my uh, Teespring guy and I'm going to say listen is this something I can do at a later date you know because they were talking about like tax returns and stuff and you know, it's a good time people got their tax returns do some t-shirts it's like yeah we just did that though and I, and I don't really feel like I need to, to start up another campaign right away um, but if this gold foil stuff lasts and it's not a limited time thing then maybe in the future we'll check we'll check it out. But um, I'd like to give your wallets a rest because um, I don't even think I would buy one to be honest. So I'll let you guys know. Thank you for the um, the votes. We got a fifty eight percent that that would buy one maybe, and fifty six percent like the vine shroom best. So at least I kind of have a better idea of what you guys want and you know, if it's, if it's worth it. V Vine Sauce, honest, why recreate the same shirts we've had for a long time? This is just what he gave me. Um, I don't have any other silver and green. That would be cool. I don't know if they're just doing gold or, or if they have other designs. Uh, why do it? I, I don't know. That's just what the they gave me. Those are the designs they gave me. I'm not sure if they would do a new one since they just did a new one for us. So if you guys have any ideas, maybe send them to me, like a simple vine sauce shirt idea. I don't know if you can get much more simple than the vine shroom, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't really know, man. Oh God, oh my God, what a, oh my God. Whoa! Did you see that? That fucking eagle froze! Whew. 
had metallic prints. The metallic foil comes off really quick in like three washes. <clears throat> Just wanted to let you know. Well, if that's the case, then, you know, that doesn't sound too appealing to me. So, I'll have to do some investigation and find out if... and find out if, um, if that's the case. If it does... If it does rub off in, in the uh, washing machine and the gold foil doesn't last, then no, I'm not going to do it. Not all prints are shitty. That's that's right. It could be good. I, I, don't, I don't know if it would be good, though. Why would it be? Why wouldn't it be? Why would they do such a huge campaign? If the quality was complete shit. Like, Teespring is one of those companies I actually give a fuck about. Because they're not garbage. Oh, go change weapons. Well, I was hoping to get some weapons. I want to capture the guard towers. And uh, maybe get that new weapon. Why would they do a campaign so sneakily fast if it was so legit? I don't know. They just did one. They sold 1500 from that previous dude that I showed you. So I'm not entirely sure. You have foil Zelda shirt and foil Star Wars shirt. Neither print came off in the wash. I guess what I'm learning is that some prints are made better than others. Vine sauce gold shirt may contain asbestos. Well, here's here's the reason I'm slightly inquisitive. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the reason I'm slightly inquisitive about it, Carlo. It's because I don't want people wasting their money. Because I wouldn't want people to do that to me. I wouldn't want to buy a shirt so soon after a previous design just got finished and then it's you know not a great quality option so we need to make sure if it's good um, but I see there is interest for this kind of thing so I'll I'll get back to you guys about it beer Oh, what? Hold on. Um. So my plan for the next design was people really do buy a lot of shirts there's like um, a design open that you guys open yourselves by voting for it so it's clear that you guys do want wait a second there's something in there it's clear that you guys do want this stuff and I can't blame you but um, I was thinking of just giving it a rest for a bit like the stream's anniversary is in May so there's an option right that's two months from now or I could have done it in uh, April. So, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll just play it. I'll play it by year. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. Right now! Sorry. Oh, fuck. God damn it, I shouldn't be eating cookies at 2 a.m. Help me! Guess who's 
Guess who's never sleeping tonight? <laughs> Definitely not a good idea to eat too many sweets before bed. It's like, just you know it's a bad idea. But it just cookies are so addictive. God damn it. And I've been really good too. I've been watching what I've been eating just for whatever reason. I don't, I don't really know why. <laughs> I mean, in terms of weight, I'm doing okay. I feel healthy, but I still... Go fuck yourself, dogs! I'm trying to tell a story. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Yeah, whatever. Hi, Oju. Uh, the cookies are some nature's promise stop and shop bullshit. I needed that gyrocopter. I needed that gyrocopter. I got three towers to go. Alright, there's one over here. Vine Sauce, why is your name so phonetically pleasing? I thought about that too. I always felt like the word vine sauce was a really nice combination of, of uh, syllables and has a good meter to it, doesn't it? I would chalk a good chunk of the success of the stream and of my YouTube channel to the name vine sauce itself. Because it is a, a very, um, it's a name that kind of sticks with you a little bit, you know, and people kind of, oh, vine sauce, I remember that word. And it was, it was new. You know, when I, when I created the word Vine Sauce, which was an old nickname of mine, um, well, when I created the word, wow, how does that sound? When I came up with it for my YouTube channel, it wasn't, if you Googled it, it wasn't at all anywhere. Like, you might find, like, a recipe with a, a Vine Sauce. Um, here's the other thing, though. Now there's V Sauce, which people confuse with us all the time. But I still say... That Vine Sauce came first, and I, I hold to that, because I've had the nickname Vine and then Sauce kind of separately for a very long time, and um, apparently Vsauce started after Vine Sauce did. It is different content. It's completely different content. It's just the name that confuses people. Do you watch Vsauce? No, I don't. I, I really don't watch a lot of things. I might check a video here and there. If it's, if it's like a good topic, I might be uh, coaxed into watching it. But I don't really tend to watch a lot of YouTube channels. Just Red Letter Media is my favorite. And um, a little AVGN from time to time. That kind of stuff. Hey, I'll tell you what. Since I'm doing this, and this is going to take a while, why don't you guys um, ask any, any questions? If you have any questions, just to give me a topic to discuss for a bit, it would kind of help because we're going to go for the three watchtowers to get the best weapon in the game. Will I be doing more corruptions? Yeah. This weekend I might be doing some N64 corruptions. What games are you anticipating this year? Zelda, um, Splatoon, GTA PC version, um, there were more, I just can't think of them at the moment, for some reason. Oh. When can we expect next Tamadachi Life? It's a very good question. Could be this week. Could be soon. Or it could be next week. My favorite old school console. That's an excellent question. 
Um, Super Nintendo, man. Vinny, if you could only listen to the complete discography of a single artist, all their work through all the bands they've been in, which artist or group would it be? David Bowie. There's so much there. There's a, a huge body of work. A lot of it sounds really different. And uh, Bowie went through, you know, he went through funk phase. He did a little, like, like psychedelic soul. There's a little blues in there. Um, there there's industrial in the 90s. Classic rock sounding stuff. I, I mean, it, it has to be Bowie. He's, he's just, he's amazing. Um, how did you meet KY Dyerbor, etc.? That's a little bit too long of a story, but I can say a lot of it was by chance in the early days. And, um, and they're amazing people and I love them. Would I ever want to visit Australia? I would love to visit New Zealand. Sorry. I know that kind of pisses on that question, but, um... I would go for Zealand over Australia. Sorry. What happened to Tucker? He's he's around, just just waiting to misunderstand more things I have to say. Vinny, is there a song that you can't listen to because it keeps you up at night? The pop 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 song from South Park. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're better off. Who would I recommend Monster Hunter 4 to? Um, if you like... If you like Dark Souls a little bit, you might enjoy Monster Hunter. If you like multiplayer gaming with your friends, you might enjoy Monster Hunter. If you like challenging games with really, really deep and rewarding combat systems, you'd like Monster Hunter. And if you like giant, amazing monster designs with incredible animations, you'd like Monster Hunter. It's a very rewarding game, but very, very challenging and fun. Favorite flavor of ice cream? I, I like, um... Like cookie dough ice cream? I like, um, chocolate. I like vanilla. I mean, how do you choose a favorite? There's different flavors for different moods, right? Do I think the new Zelda will be good or bad? I think it'll be good. I think it'll be really good. It's just a matter of how different they're gonna make it. I'm not sure. More Super Mario Brothers X contests in the future. I said I would do one, and I think I will do one. However, it's probably gonna be... There's so many goddamn people on Vine Sauce these days, and, um... The problem is, if I do a Super Mario Bros. X contest, I'll be playing levels for a week straight. So I'd have to be like one level per person, super short levels only. It's... It's not gonna be like it was, sadly. My favorite song in the Davies Gray No Cigar album? Probably, um... Uh, Fade to Gray or, or Medieval. But, um... Um, Freak is still really fun to play. So thank you for that question. You just uh, made me feel pretty good about that. Thank you. I, I'll try Super Mario Brothers X Contest. I have to think about it. I really got to put some thought into that. But I, I said I would do one. And even if it's a small one, we'll try. My favorite RPG class, I like, um, usually the class with a bow and arrow, or just a straight up, like, paladin or warrior. Those are always fun. I never really play mages. Favorite qu non-Queens of the Stone Age, Hom Song. Um, um, Bandoliers. Or maybe reptiles from, um, them crooked vultures. Best music concert you ever went to? Um, probably David Gilmore. 
which is the guitarist singer from Pink Floyd, or Roger Waters, who did The Wall. I saw that a few years ago. So you're seeing a pattern here. I'm a big Pink Floyd fan, and Radiohead did a great show too. And Mars Volta in 2005. Will there be more albums for me in the future? Yes. Mike and I want to get into the studio and record some songs. We got a lot of songs. We're, we're probably going to make an album at some point. And uh, I will. In the next year, you can expect some music. That's a guarantee. Do I like PlayStation or Xbox? I have an Xbox 360. And I don't have a PS3 or 4. But I love PS2 and PS1. I do not want PS4 or Xbox One. I have no desire, no interest. At the moment, I think both of those systems are just completely unnecessary. Who do I main in Super Smash Brothers? Kind of like Robin, Bowser Jr., Pit, Mega Man, and Villager, I'd say. Um, listen to Dundeman. If you're going to listen to Mars Volta, listen to a full album, dude. Listen to all of DeLouse in the Comatorium. Listen to maybe some of Francis the Mute. You might not like the whole album, but that song, that album is insane. Oh, fuck. No! Ugh. No, I haven't checked out Mac DeMarco yet. I got some recommendations from Jethro, and I do plan on listening to those recommendations, but I have not done so yet. Um, it's like... Usually I don't go for a solo artist, unless I know their band. So I don't know what to expect, but people recommend this guy to me constantly. Thanks, Triple. Um, I'm not caught up with The Walking Dead. I missed Sunday's episode, but I plan on it. I don't really love At The Drive-In. It's not really my kind of thing. It, they're okay. I've listened to some songs. I never got deep. I like Volta a lot better. Would I ever com consider Morrowind or Oblivion? I've streamed some of Obli No, wait. No, I haven't. I've played Oblivion. The buzzsaw weapon is now available, my friends. That's the weapon I wanted. Oh. Did that not get rid of the poster? I will eventually do another uh, question and answer thing. I, I wouldn't even mind having like, um, maybe like a Google Hangouts thing. I've never done that before. And I thought about it. I was like, well, I, you know, I want to, if people have questions and they want my answer for God knows what reason, like, like, why would you care about something like that? But if, if you do, it, it's really fucking cool and it means a lot. So why not do like a Google Hangout session, you know? Who is my favorite bassist who's only a bassist? Um, John Entwistle. <sighs> the thing is, I liked the experimental and I like Cedric singing after Mars Volta. I didn't really like the way he sang on uh, at the drive-in. That, that kind of it doesn't really do it for me too much. Um, are there plans to play with other Vine Saw streamers? You bet. How often do you read fan mail every day? Um, if you want to call it that, a lot of people just ask questions or recommend games. The thing is, though, I'm behind on my emails because of packs and uh, every day I do read every single email I get it's just replying to them is becoming increasingly more difficult so I usually once or twice a week try to reply to them 
and uh, sometimes it works out where I can give a few a little bit of a longer answer and, and a lot of times I can't okay we got a harpoon gun now guys I'm super fucking hyped to use this oh my god the buzzsaw two hand LMG oh my god <laughs> look at this fucking weapon I will play Tingle's balloon thing at some point. When it gets translated. My favorite show growing up was Ren and Stimpy. Okay, so here's the new weapons, guys. We got the harpoon gun. <laughs> it's got a meaty sound to it. And we've got this fucking thing. Look at this thing. Um. Whoa. How do I feel about. Thanks, Maggie. Uh, how do I feel about Caged the Elephant? I don't know. I haven't listened to them really. Um, I guess one day I will. I think I may have heard one one song or two. I'm not sure. I like uh, Queens better than them Crooked Vultures, but I do like them Crooked Vultures a lot. Okay. Let's see. Trying to repair the damage to the crops. I'd hunt those burls down myself. I'll hunt the burls for you. Really? Burls. I don't know who Christopher Marlowe is, Dave Cap. Darkest dungeon question. If I was a class, what would I be? Leper. <laughs> can use this, surely. Oh no, I guess they don't want me to use the... Oh, a harpoon gun. They want me to use arrows for this. Have I heard anything from the band Temples? I've seen Temples twice live. And I met all of the band members from Temples. Not only are they super nice guys, they have Vine Sauce cards in their possession. And the, um... They're really good. I, I was a, a big proponent of the Temples before their first album came out. I got a little bit bored of their album. I think it's really great. I think they're great songwriters, but they need to kind of... Um, I think they could use a little bit more... <laughs> Tame Impala inspiration. Tame Impala is, is probably my favorite band right now. And uh, I think they, they consistently do interesting things. Um, so I found out, speaking of, I'll tell you guys one more thing while I'm killing these animals. Tame Impala. That song was actually not on their album. Their new album hasn't been announced yet. Well, it has been, kind of. But that song was literally just a song for the fans. And is not, in fact, going to be on their third album. Yeah, Let It Happen. I like the song. It's a little weird. It's a little electronic. Now, I have a theory about what it means. Let It Happen. I read about Kevin Parker, like, wanting to do more electronic, like, dancey type music. For whatever reason. Maybe he's been listening to a lot of Michael Jackson lately. I do love me some MJ. Don't know why. I just do. But, I think... When he did the stuff with Mark Ronson, he did some more funky, dancey type shit to get it out of his system. And this song, Let It Happen, is kind of an extension of that. And instead of doing a full album of that kind of stuff, he did a few songs of it just to get it out of his system. And if you listen to the song, Let It Happen, lyrically, I think he's talking about just that. 
So for those Tame Impala fans that, that are as deep about this band as I am, do yourself a favor, listen to that song with that perspective, and you might actually kind of come across the same conclusion. If I could meet anyone alive or dead, who would it be? I'm tempted to say Lennon. I think it would be Kurt Cobain, though, because I just want to see what kind of guy he is to hang out with. And because of how much his shitty music influenced me when I was a shitty kid. And David Bowie. I'd love to meet Bowie and hang out with Bowie. Okay, I've got the skin. I've got the meat. Yeah, Lennon. Vladimir Lennon. Not John Lennon. Vladimir Lennon. No, I love... I still love Nirvana. I'm, I joke when I say it's shitty music. It's, it's not... It's something I immediately aim to listen to all the time, but I, I still think they're... They were a great band. Sid Barrett would be fun to meet, but only when he was... On acid. Any bands you feel are overrated and not worth the hype? A lot of bands that are big. Like right now. You know, like a lot of the bigger bands that you see these days. Um, I just don't think a lot of these bands are worth the hype. Beyond a song or two, which are usually really gimmicky. A lot of that late 90s shit. Anything that... Blink-182 was fine, mostly. I don't really listen to them. But anything that was influenced by Blink-182... I think is, is just not... For me, it's not worth it. I'm not really a big fan. Um, but I mean, I would rather listen to any of that music than some of the pop music that's around today. These are really interesting questions. A lot of good music questions. Thank you. Always enjoy answering questions about music. If I could bring back one famous person in their prime, it would be John Lennon. Because that motherfucker didn't need to get murdered. And he was l literally just beginning his, his the rest of his life, his 40s. And put out a great album. Love or hate Yoko, he was very happily married, had a five-year-old kid that grew up without a dad. It's like, go fuck yourself, Dave, Mark David Chapman, you massive piece of shit boner juice. Praise. Uh, Holst is my favorite classical composer because I like the planets, even though it's totally overrated. Favorite albums right now, Noel Gallagher's new album and Frank Black's Teenager of the Year. I'm not answering your question, Blinking. What social media? Just, um, mostly just Twitter. Twitter's easy. I like Twitter. It's fun, simple. I don't have to fucking type up a big thing. I could just type a few words. People like it. <laughs> Done. I'm lazy. Um, maybe we'll do that other quest. It's getting a little bit late for me, and, uh, as you know, my sleep schedule is finally reverting back to normal-ish. So let's go kill these snakes. Please, you have to help me! My brothers are dead and I don't know who else to turn to! Favorite beetle? George. I don't like geese, because they're honking feathered shit bags. Simple as that. Um, hearing about gorillas coming back? I, I can only say elation. And just it, it, supreme happiness that the gorillas are coming back. 
if you listen to some of my my electronic music on the Sibilance album on my Bandcamp, a good chunk of that was inspired by um, the Gorillas. My favorite wizard. <laughs> These questions. Wow. Uh, probably Gandalf, man. The wizard arrives precisely when he means to. He is not late nor early. I'm paraphrasing. My favorite X-Files episode might be either Jose Chung's or... Um, I really like Bad Blood. Uh, I like the episode where... Uh, I like Dreamland Part 1 and 2 with Michael McKeon because it's just goofy and really funny. Okay, I'm gonna go wipe out a viper now, okay? Where, where the fuck did it go? Oh my god! Look at- Oh, there's more than one viper. Oh god, leave! Did you see the viper fly, though? Have I considered more guests on the stream? I probably would, yeah. I'll tell you what, why don't you guys hold off on your questions for now? I appreciate them. But, uh, let me kill these vipers. I don't- I don't want to, uh... I don't want to neglect questions because I'm killing vipers. I love this! They- they go fucking flying! I love this gun. Oh, shit. Ah, put it out, put it out, put it out. I wonder if a harpoon will kill this guy in one hit. Not quite. But his tank is now on fire, so... Whoa! Why did they go flying? This gun is great! I love it. <laughs> How do physics work? I don't even know! Oh my god. <laughs> this is the funniest fucking thing ever. <laughs> Viper bit me. Spider bite hurt. Viper bite hurt. God, that is so good. This is a fun mission because they're they're hiding. They're little bastards. I wonder if this is enough to kill a viper. Nah, maybe not. Indiana Jones would love this. I hear one more motherfucker. I'm not entirely sure. I gotta follow the. There it is. Oh, this mission is so good. Whoa! Oh! They blend in, so you, you gotta really look for them, or just shoot, you know, wildly, that's fine. Mm. Uh, yeah, Steve Bloom here. Yeah, my wife could take a punch to the stomach. Yeah, Steve Bloom.
What did I just inject myself with? I, I thought I injected myself with the hunting syringe, but I didn't. Uh... Fuck do you use it? Oh, there you go. I see. Yeah, there you go. Great. Doesn't work on snakes. Oh wait, no, there's a pit. I gotta go down to the snake. Oh my god, this is so Indiana Jones. Look at how many fuckers there are in here. Goodbye, snake. I Always knew you could fly, snake. Fly away, snake. Bounce around in the cave. You were born in your wave in the game. Don't know what that was, but I liked it. Fly away, snake. Go away and you be in the free in the cave that you wanted to see. And you wanted to say, Mr. Snake, how I love you. Fly away, snake! Bounce away in the walls of the cave you were born and you wanted to save the... Snake eggs. I'm sorry, I, I gotta stop singing. I'm just- I get so excited when I see the snakes. Crikey! These are the <laughs> Malaysian bouncing snakes! Lord. There's like shit water down here. What, what could be? Could there be something down here? Uh, I don't see anything. But I'm drowning, so let's not do that. Know what time it was? The lights were low. Oh, oh. I leaned back on my ray. D O O O. Some cat was playing down some rock and roll. Let me know you say. <laughs> go so far. Their bodies just just fucking just go flying when I shoot them with the harpoon. Didn't even stand a chance. Did not even stand a chance. That fucking vulture son of a bitch. Okay, let's save it now. Okay. Well, today's Far Cry was pretty fun. I have to say I enjoyed a lot of that, and we had some good snake moments, which, if there's ever an animal compilation, the Vine Sauce Rebirth mod, I didn't even know there was one. If there, you know what, maybe I did know there was one. I know there was like a, just a quick and dirty one that Pete made, Xeno Striker. It was like a very, is that, if that's what you mean, then yeah. It's good. It's short. It's like a small little thing, but it's good. Um, I'd like to point out that both Fred and Direbor are streaming right now. And uh, when I'm done here, just go to vinesauce.com or their Twitch channels and uh, check them out. I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, I've I also I got a Monster Hunter uh, postcard with the map of the game on it. 
from PAX, but I didn't uh, didn't show you guys because I can't find it. But I will eventually. So if I do, I'll show you. But it's just the map of the game. It's nothing like special. 